Keep in mind, when you're done this repair, you're going to have to do a crank variation relearn procedure that you're going to need a higher end scan tool to do the job. Now disconnect the battery, use an 8 millimeter wrench. Disconnect the negative side and slide that out of the way. Now we're going to take the starter out, use a 10 millimeter socket, remove this bolt right here that holds this cover on. Just take that out. And we're going to take these two starter bolts out, use a 13 millimeter socket. Slide the starter back. And just try to take this take this cover out of the way. And disconnect the oil level sensor. I'm just gonna use a pick, just get under the lock and just slide that off. Just grab the starter and just tip it down. You can disconnect this shield on top. Just slide that off and out of the way. Now we need to disconnect these two wires that connect to the starter. The top one, you're going to use an eight millimeter wrench and just take the nut off. You can't really do that. You can't really see what you're doing. Doing it blind. Just loosen it up. And take this nut off. And slide the wire off and out of the way. And then the other one, we're going to use a 13 millimeter wrench. The same thing. Loosen this up. And take that nut off and then slide the cable out. Oh, there might be a washer. And disconnect the connector to the crank sensor. Just slide that off. And take a 10 millimeter socket. Take this bolt out. Now just grab the sensor and you can try to wiggle it right out or take a screwdriver or a pry bar just to pry it out. And just pry it up. And there it is. And just clean out that area in the block. You might want to take a small wire brush. Just try not to get any of the filings into the block and use a rag, a little brake parts cleaner, clean that up. And just take the new sensor, you can put a little grease on the O-ring or some engine oil. And slide that in position. Just twist it back and forth, make sure it goes all the way down. Put the bolt in. And I'm going to torque that bolt to 18 foot-pounds. And take the wiring harness and connect the connector. Lock it down. Now we're going to put the starter back in. You want to make sure you take that big positive cable and that's going to hook on this stud, not this one. That's the ground. And then the remote or the signal wire or the on switch wire is going to go right there. So I'm going to line this back up. And again, this is going to be kind of hard. You can't really see anything. And there is a tab. You want to line that tab up. And then take the lock washer and the nut. Put those over the stud. Then we're going to tighten this down. 
And if you can get a torque wrench in there, you want to torque that to 80 inch-pounds. Make sure you're on inch-pounds, not foot-pounds. That's good. Now I'll take the smaller signal wire and get that on that stud. And if you had a small lock washer, put that on first. And then the small nut. And tighten that down. And then tighten that nut down. And you want to tighten that to 30 inch pounds. Make sure you're not on foot pounds. And then line this back. As you slide this starter back, put this cover in position. And get this lined up. Take the two starter bolts. Get those started. And tighten these two bolts to 37 foot pounds. Now put this bolt in for this cover. And tighten it down. Just snug it up. And the oil level sensor right here. Line the connector up. Lock it down. Now if you still had the starter down, it might be a little easier to put this shield on, but if you want to do it after, also you can. Slide this over. And that's all the way on there, so that's good. And at this point, you're going to do the crankshaft variation relearn procedure on the scan tool. Now the scan tools might be a little bit different, so follow the directions on the scan tool. Most of the time, what the tool is going to have you do is put the parking brake on, run the engine to operating temperature, step on the parking brake, and then sidestep the gas pedal. So you're going to floor the gas pedal all the way down to wide open throttle and then sidestep it. It'll tell you when to turn it off. And that's going to synchronize the engine to the computer.